11 months of experimenting, coding, endless cups of tea, maybe a little bit of swearing here and there. My, uh, my kite flight recorder is um, it's finished and I'm really pleased with it. I'm, well, I'm, I'm more amazed with it that it's, that it's taken me seven months to complete because normally my projects take seven days because I get bored really easy and have to move on to the next thing but this thing I'm really really chuffed with um, and if anything it proves to myself that I can actually do something um, and uh, see it through to the end and um, learn something as I, as I go um, but basically this is it call it Kestrel X because it's on version 10-ish um, because we've gone through so many different ideas and concepts to finally get to this point but um, in my last video I explained the maths behind it all um, but I basically use a different Arduino, uh, the, uh, the Nano this time which is a smaller board and it shrunk it down considerably allowing me to get it into this little case and even with its 9 volt battery in it doesn't actually weigh that much and um, if, I, if I put a little switch on there it actually looks the, looks the business um, yeah I'm really really pleased with it and the most important thing is you switch it on and it works it's amazing and it even glows blue like uh, one of those pimped out Ford Escorts you see razzing around the place but um, yeah that's just cosmetic but it's a very cool cosmetic if you ask me so yeah so we switch it on it boots up and it also straight away starts logging the temperature um, the highest and lowest achieved uh, the pressure and the altitude as well um, so when it goes up eventually on it on the kite um, it can record those um, extremes as well um, I did notice one thing with the maths and that is the actual altitude is slightly out if the maths well it needs a constant that being uh, the pressure the current pressure at sea level which changes which you can get from any web, uh, weather website but um, so instead of inputting it all the time I've just made do whatever it was when I built encased it basically and although it its starting altitude isn't necessarily bang on um, it is able to accurately record the uh, the elevation and I've had it recording the height of my stairs and, uh, and the like and it is pretty pretty accurate from, from that point of view which again is really pleasing but anyway um, there it is it's all nicely packaged up uh, and will soon be on its first test flight just as soon as the, uh, the British weather improves somewhat which could be some time so it might be shelved for a while waiting for the perfect kite flying day but uh, it's uh, primed and ready for when that happens so yeah if you're tinkering out there and you know losing heart on a project you're doing if I can if I can see something through to the end regardless of how difficult I find it found it I'm sure you can too but yeah anyway there you go that's Kestrel X the, uh, the kite flight recorder. See you later. Bye.